right. Speaking of another heavyweight, <laughs> you already know where I'm we going. going. You already know where I'm going with this. Yeah. You have beef with uh, former unified champ Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. Um, it was like a. a, a a little stuff with the, the DMs, the social media. Uh, touch on that, man. Well, he, I think, I think, you know, when you sent that DM, or you're a little, I don't know if I can say. Speak how you want to speak. Oh, oh, you're a little bitch. You know, real ones move in silence. And, you know, uh, 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 what do you say? I'll kill uh, some, some bullshit, something. Oh, you're a, you're a disgraced, superior black race, and I'm like. Wow, I, I, I was just a little shocked when I seen it. And I honestly, at first, wasn't even gonna share it with my people. Because I knew what everybody was gonna be thinking. And, and don't get me wrong, the first thing I, dollar signs hit my eyes, just like they, I'm pretty sure it did too, with theirs, but I didn't really understand what the reason was for it. But then I realized, I, I don't know if he had a fight fall out, or I, I don't know if he was just looking for it. I think he was looking for a voluntary challenger and finding finding out who's gonna win the sweepstakes, like who was the best suited person in that position to take that that fight. Mm -hmm. And was it worth it? Like have have I been training enough? Have I been in the game enough uh, up to that point to pose a serious threat to him? Because and then when you think about we had a little bit of a history where we were it was a friendly kind of thing to be honest. Uh, where we kind of talk stuff back to each other and was actually planning for it at some point to maybe fight. And uh, it never worked out. But then this came up, so I figured he was just kind of like piggybacking off of that and possibly was looking for that volunteer. Yeah. So I was like, all right, um, I'll play ball. You know what I mean? Let's do what we got to do. Because, shit, to get a quick million or two million dollars would be nice for me just like anybody else. So I'm like, <laughs> and if you think, and then I might, hey, I might. I go in there and knock you off. Pause to you know to what to what you may be thinking may be an easy fight it may turn out to be something a little harder than you thought. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So, um, <laughs> I was looking to see what it was, and then all the things came out. Oh, somebody was uh, hacking and blah blah blah. And once that happened, I, you know you realize it's not going to happen. Mm. So then you just kind of fall back on it, but. To be honest, man, it, you know, it would have been nice to have an opportunity for the title after all that time, you know, being away from it and not and, and having bad like that bad decision with Pavekin and then kind of being out of the loop of boxing for a while. And it would have just been a nice thing to have and at least get the opportunity, you know what I mean, make the money uh, and, and at least set me up better for after my career. But it just didn't work out. It wasn't to be, and um, unfortunately, can you say?